blessed day of ascension, my friends. Spend a few moments in devotion on this Thursday, May 13th. It is the ascension of our Lord today. Um, we're going to share the beginning of Acts, where we find this story of Jesus ascending uh, away from departing the disciples. Um, so if you want to turn to the book of Acts is where we find that at the very beginning here. Hope that you find yourself well today. We've been journeying at Cross of Hope through the book of Acts, um, the little readings that are assigned for the Easter season. Uh, so that's been uh, a fun a little journey for us this season, and we'll, we'll, we'll finish that up the next couple weeks. Um, we're going to hear the story that immediately precedes this on Sunday, and then the Pentecost story, which precedes that, then on um, uh, the following Sunday, the 23rd. So if you're here, or if you uh, come upon this uh, today, uh, or in the days to come, you will walk right through Acts over the course of today and the next few Sundays as we, uh, more or less here, as we um, uh, finish up this Easter season um, this year together. So let's read these 11 verses at the beginning of Acts, Acts 1. Read along if you'd like, or spend some time here in devotion together. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God while staying with them. He ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Word of God, word of life. Again, our devotion is titled for the festival day, Ascension of our Lord. Be invited to this, uh, share this devotion from Christ in our home, uh, inviting our focus to that last 11th verse of our reading today. They said, men of Galilee, those angels, men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? Let's read together a devotion. The disciples had just heard Jesus say, you will receive power, and you will be my witnesses. Now they stand looking up toward heaven until two men ask why. Sometimes I find it easier to focus on heaven than on the messy, broken world. I love worship and Bible study, but spend less energy on making life better for my neighbors in practical ways. Does that mean I'm not giving witness to Jesus? Maybe there are different ways to bear witness. You may be more comfortable shopping for elderly neighbors than bringing them to uh, communion. Maybe you feel called to fight for justice, but studying the threads of God's justice in Scripture isn't your thing. Sent by Christ into the world, we bear witness in countless ways, serving and giving, studying and worshiping. Maybe the disciples, staring up into heaven, were pondering what their unique form of witness would be. Soon enough, the Holy Spirit would show them and us. An invitation to pray together this morning. God, give me courage to live my faith. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And as you find courage and perseverance to live uh, and uh, to live your faith today as it unfolds before you, be invited to be in prayer for family and friends who encourage us each day. Uh, and then I'll invite you as well to go one step further and share um, uh, your gratitude for those who encourage you along the way. Uh, some at some point here today and in the days to come. God bless you, my friends, this day as you share the journey of life and faith. Uh, good morning to you all. A smile and heart. Love you. And we'll look forward to sharing worship on Sunday. Uh, but until then, we'll see you for devotion tomorrow at 9 with Nancy. Uh, and then on Saturday uh, with myself as we continue to uh, spend some time dwelling in God's Word together. It is a blessing to express our faith together. God bless you, my friends.